you got clutch what's going on people it's your main man johnny clutch cards aka johnny clutch crypto back at you again with another helium update video so let's go over the big numbers because i got big news 231,000 hotspots. That's an increase of 58,000 over the last 30 days. Uh, the market price is down to $19.19, .19, which is actually up for this week, but you know, it had been a little bit down. And there are 27.18 million state HNT. All right. So let's go ahead and zoom in. Big, big news this week was, uh, last week was. We got our Bobcat miners. Finally, you know, however many weeks we ordered back in May 14th, 15th. Um, and we got our miners last Wednesday, I believe it was. Um, so um, we spent much of last week trying to get them set up. And there are two new locations. One on the south side of Houston, southwest, kind of southwest, uh, Houston, uh, at a relative's house. And... Um, one at our office on near Greens Point here in Houston, kind of north side Houston uh, and the Beltway. Um, we'll take a look at both of those locations here. But as you can see, this is still growing, growing, growing here. Lots of green here. Looks like three other miners in my hex now, or two other miners in my hex. It says three here, but they're only showing me two. So this is our guy. Over the last 30 days, we've racked up 18 HNT, even though our transmit scale has dropped somewhat over those last couple of days. And it's showing you <clears throat> a little bit of everything there. Over the last 24 hours, we racked up uh, 0.86 HNT. We've had several days at one HNT or just over one, like 1 1.1 or 1.2, somewhere in that area. So, you know, the rewards have really uh, improved over the last few weeks. We haven't had anything to worry about. We haven't had our miners shut off. We haven't had any disconnect issues. Knock on a little some wood. And uh, so things have been good. We, we have 12 total witnesses here. This all looks good and nice and dandy. With this current rate, um, we're pushing six over seven days. Yeah, so 6.3. In the app, it shows you over 14 days, right? So, you know, double that up. That's around 12. I think actually uh, over 14 days, it was around 10 on the 10 something, 10 or so over the app. At any rate, on a 30 day tracking right now, we're around 18, which, you know, I think we, you know, uh, for a really, really good target, we were talking about hopefully getting around uh, 20. So we are moving in that direction. We are currently, like I said, like it shows here at 18.82. If we're generating this much H&T at the current price, that's 360 bucks per month. So that, you know, it's like the miner pretty much paying for itself, uh, half of itself every month, which, you know, now we're in profit. So with this particular miner, so that is really, really, really awesome. Um, I'm going to see, can we see uh, our other miner on here? I don't remember if it shows. I think this is our guy, one of our guys. Yes, wonderful jet black marmoth. Marmot. Marmot. Okay. So today actually was the first day that it got any H&T. So 0.27 on its first day. Uh, you know, this one is currently relayed. I got to troubleshoot this because this actually I'm actually using a personal hotspot, like a physical hotspot device from my cell phone carrier to do this. So I got I might have to do a little work around to actually get this to be unrelayed. So, uh, I, you know, there might be a video on that. Uh, both of these are Bobcat miners, as you can see up here. There's a Bobcat with the base antenna. It's about 40 meters up, 12 floors or so. Um, and, you know, today was the first day to generate h &T. So I plugged it in, I want to say last Thursday. Today is Tuesday. Um, so, you know, it took a few days for it to get actually get online. I still think, uh, well, this one shows synced. So this one shows fully synced, whereas uh, in the app, it wasn't showing fully synced. It still says syncing. Um, I believe... As far as activity is concerned, this is where it kind of gets interesting um, because my Bobcats come from 
the the last lot, which was uh, group twenty one, or or I feel I forget what the groupings are. Twenty one is the number uh, of batch batch twenty one. Batch twenty one is the batch that both of my miners come from, and there is an ongoing issue about these miners not witnessing, um, even though. Uh, I believe some of the some of the rewards I got were for witnessing. It does not log the witnesses, so there's nothing in my log my witness log list, as we can see here. Right, see no witnesses here, even though it did witness a challenge, it did issue a challenge, and it cleared everything except for it data transfer. Um, but witness list is something that's still pending. Um, so I will, I believe they're working on this. They just got back off of, you know, some type of holiday over in China. So we'll, we'll keep our eye on what the fix for this is. It may be like a firmware fix or something along those lines. But the main thing we have to do here, uh, that we may be looking to do is upgrade the antenna once the witnesses are being, uh, actually listed so that we can understand what's going on here, because we do have one, I believe this one here. Uh, oh, no, I don't think that's a, it. Might be this guy. This guy, Scruffy Aqua Line, who we're right next to. When the heck's next to this one? This one is bananas, right? So, this, he's using the 8 DBI antenna, 65 meters up, and using a sense cap. So, pff, that's what I'm talking about. So, this, this type of, this type of reach is possible with an 8 dBi at high enough heights. So um, we'll be looking to, you know, try to, you know, replicate something like that with us being so close to this guy. If we could uh, replicate something like that, that would be awesome. So we might look to upgrade the antenna. Um, so let me know, like if you're in a, if you're at uh, in an apartment building, something like that, let me know what 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 stuff have you used? What have you seen to optimize the setup? I also thought about you know whether or not to put it in like a you know the drop ceiling area um, of the of the building instead of you know kind of by by a window. Actually, it's by a pillar um, that's made out of some other material, kind of like at the corner of the building versus sitting right against the window or near a window or something like that. So um, that is. That is our first of two Bobcats. This is wonderful jet black Marmot. And we have 0.27 HNT from hit. It's at 100% transmit scale. It is relayed, but we'll look to fix it as it has a very unique connectivity setup. So our last miner, uh, our last miner should be sugar land. Should be up in here somewhere. Um, let us see. That's Gessner. Fondren. Keep on coming. Gotta get to Harm Clark. And then we'll we'll figure it out from there. Alright, that's Fuquay. It's Anderson. Is that what I think it is? Yeah. Alright, so this should be our other one here. Nutty Chiffon Hair. It's a weird name. This one actually got H and T today. Okay, so this one is a similar setup. It's on the ground uh, floor. It's just you know sitting next to uh, uh, my relative's Uverse uh, internet plugged into the internet. I already uh, I already uh, set up the pinhole access for the port forwarding um, to go to this particular device. Um, it's a, it's a base setup, base antenna, all that stuff. What I want to do is kind of get it up and get it monitored so that we can then look and see uh, how we're how we're what 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 we're generating in that in that respect. So as you can see, we we already got 0 .01 HNT. So let's take a, a deeper look into this one. See, as you can see, this one is still sinking. I plugged this one up on. Sunday, yeah, I plugged this one up on Sunday. So, like I said, today's Tuesday. The other one I plugged in on Thursday. It just now got fully synced today. So, you know, the podcast take a little longer. It can take, I think, the uh, you know, two to four days for these devices to sync. 
Um, you see it's at a suboptimal transmit scale. It's kind of like a lone wolf out here. So we'll definitely look to upgrade the antenna. And if we upgrade the antenna, try to get some of this action over here. Or even some of this action over here. I think uh, we can go either direction. I think you want to shoot this way, I believe. Because, you know, it's so many people piled up in this area. Kind of downtown Houston, Bel Air area. That whole, that whole nine. So we're in a unique place. You know, there's a couple over here. Let's take a look at these over here. These are two terrible, tr terrible transmit scale. So these must be probably, possibly in the same house would be my guess. Right? Because transmit scale 0.29, they have a upgraded. No, they got a 1.2 DBI. Nebra. Wow. Okay. And... That's still that's their twenty four hours point one, that's their seven days twelve dollars, that's their thirty days. So they've been on less than thirty days now. So hopefully they're working on that setup and thinking about how they can optimize this setup because right now you know this would this the, the that wouldn't really be uh something I would look at being feasible long term. Point zero one seven days, 0 0.04, 30 days, 0.267. All right, so these are people who need a little bit of help. That's a 3 DBI antenna on a synchro bit. Um, yeah, if you know these guys, anybody knows these guys, let me know. Because, uh, you know, if you're in the Houston area and you need help with your setup, feel free to just leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, you know, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, I've worked with a couple different people uh, even out of the comments, just going back and forth and sharing information. Uh, I think, you, you know, you can get really optimal setups out here in Houston. And worst case scenario, if you're if you're lucky enough to you know be outside of these areas where it's really congested, you know, one way to kind of fix it is to get high and get a higher uh, DBI antenna, you know, you know, get it high and get high, <laughs> get the minor up. Get the antenna up as high as you can and get a more high DBI antenna at the same time. And then you'll be able to kind of stretch out across, kind of like our guy up here. Um, our guy up here. Just like our, our, our friend here. No, that's not the guy. I want, I want this guy. Well, but similar, right? Similar, Similar results right there. We want to be like our man Scruffy Aqualine. That's what we. This is what we're trying to do. But we got to go ADBI for that. So anybody know what's the best ADBI antenna to buy for helium? Um, I'm probably gonna look at the Rack Wireless antennas, or uh, or look on Parley Labs at the Nebra antennas and kind of start with those. But if there's one that's better, feel free to uh, you know leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, what you think works, what, what would work best for you. Let's take a look at ourselves. This is our, this is our guy, wonderful Jet Black Marmot. Three witnesses. See, so you notice it lists the three witnesses. So it was seeing witnesses and all that good stuff. But like I said, it's not building that witness. It's not listing those, those witnessing. It's not listing the hotspots it's witnessing. <laughs> listing the witnesses that there, there you go so you know we're at 0.27 so we're going to monitor this one we're going to see how everything goes we're going to try to fix our relay issue here so we got more work to do which is pretty awesome um and we still have i think one more hot spot coming from link dot that won't arrive until november i believe so we'll unbox that one as well there'll be an unboxing video for our bobcat miners as well, I'll walk you through how to set up the Bobcat. It's pretty straightforward, very similar to the SenseCat one as well. Um, just looks a little different, you know, put it together a little different, things of that nature. So, with all that being said, um, let's take a look at the breakout for, look at the breakout for our, our main guy, who's really looking good now. He's really... Really looking a lot better than what we were looking. I believe that's us right here. Nope. That's the other guy. That's me right there. Let's hope. There we go. All right. So Abel Bronze Tapper. 
taper, tapper. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'll figure it out. All right. So over 30 days, past 30 days, 19.09 HNT. So this is really, you know, better than we thought we were going to get. Like, you know, this is something, this is, you know, optimal, at least for me, just prior, even prior to the happening, I thought, you know, being around one HNT would be an awesome thing, you know, to make, you know, bring in passively $20 a day, roughly, you know, give or take $20 a day. You know, 30 days in a month, $600 a month. That's awesome sauce. So, so we'll see uh, as things goes, go, go, go on, you know, back in October, 9.67, 9.67, 9.76 this month, 16.47 last month, lifetime 34.97. We're at 35 H and T overall, and everything has been looking pretty good. Rewards by day. Let's take a look at this rule. It's by day. 24 hours, 0.661 one H and T, 0.93 H and T, 0.76 H and T, 0.94 H and T, uh, 1.07 H and T. So we've been really up there, really consistent. Um, everything's been working really well thus far. So we'll look to optimize these other two setups. And that's pretty much all I got. So let me know what you think. Let me know what kind of hotspots you have. Um, and just stay tuned because we're going to optimize these setups. We're going to troubleshoot the one that's in the the, the, the the office building type setup. We're going to figure out how to whitelist it on the hotspot that we're using. Um, and then at this other home, we're going to figure out how to kind of be the lone, you know, in a lone wolf type setup and then figure out how we can optimize that Uh in over on the south southwest side of houston texas uh so we got everything covered we're on the north side we on the northwest side and we're on the south southwest side so with nothing else to say in this particular update your man johnny clutch cards aka johnny clutch crypto is out i am for the people by the people you only got me and the constitution remember that